Hi everyone, uh, today I want to make a DIY video where I build this uh, battery backup security camera system. This is a Xiaomi security camera system with a 12 volt input power supply and I have already reviewed this camera in detail in my previous video. This comes with a uh, app connectivity, Wi-Fi connectivity and it is IP67 water resistant so it is suitable for outdoors. So what I was thinking was like why can't we make a system where we can put some batteries inside this camera with the help of a UPS circuit and make it similar to Arlo or Nest devices or other Xiaomi devices which has a battery backup built inside the camera so you can use it in a independent or a outdoor place where there is no connectivity and sometimes you can charge it so those cameras cost a lot and especially those Arlo and Nest devices they cost a lot and uh, this is just a 35 or 30 dollar device based on where you buy from i got this idea because uh, when i was installing uh, the memory card here the micro sd card i see that this entire space inside the camera is empty the only space uh, taken up by the uh, camera itself is around until here only the remaining is all empty so i don't know why they have built like this maybe they have other plans for it so I was thinking if I can fit this kind of a lithium ion uh, cells inside this with the help of uh, some circuit to boost up the supply to 12 volts then we can make a very good CCTV camera system where we have a battery backup and then you can charge it through a standard 12 volt supply. Let's try to do that. So in order to make the backup system built inside this uh, camera, we need to install some lithium ion cells inside, uh, in included with the circuitry and then make some modifications inside. And we have to open this uh, camera and see how difficult it's going to be. So let's do that. But uh, before that, I will introduce you to this uh, circuit. This is an uninterruptible power supply circuit. I bought it from China and it's very cheap around one and a half dollars it's very small these are the 18650 cells and i'll be trying to mount it like this on the cells itself using some uh, double-sided tape and we can wire it up to the camera let's discuss in detail about this using the schematic that i have drawn so first of all the uh, overall uh, block diagram is like this so the camera here will be powered by the UPS circuit which is this one and uh, we'll be using this input supply here these are the input supply and we'll be modifying the wiring inside of the camera so that it goes through this uh, UPS circuit and we'll be connecting these batteries to the circuit like this and then the output of the uh, 12 volt supply will go into the uh, camera itself so that is how the backup supply will be built and this uh, this circuitry is quite interesting because uh, unlike other UPS circuits that is available on the market it has some bypass feature as well as some boosts uh, and bug converter chargers this is the overall schematic of the, the circuitry so it comes like this so it accepts a power supply of 5 to 12 volts which comes here and then it goes to a charger so the charger is a, a constant current constant voltage bug converter charger so the bug charger charges the lithium ion cell so it can it says that it can accept up to 15 uh, amp hour cells so so if you want to use 15 amp hour cell then you have to uh, join this uh, jumper so that it can increase the current supply but i'll be using only uh, 5400 milliamp hour so these are sanyo cells and these are in very good condition i have tested it this is okay i don't want it to be uh, charging in a very high current so this this is the circuitry for the charger and then we connect the battery and the output is uh, there is a bypass system where the the short key barrier diode here uh, is uh, supplying power directly to the output here and there is a, a boost converter circuit where the input from the batteries are boosted the 4.2 volts are boosted to 12 volts using the circuitry here as you can see here so uh, this is based on the xr2681 boost circuit and accepts a voltage range of the lithium ion up to 4.2 volts and then it can boost into any voltage like 9 volts or 12 volts in my case it's 12 volts and it also comes with a 
battery protection the lithium ion protection circuit using the xb8089 so this is the one here so the xb8089 uh, protects the battery from under voltage and over voltage situation as well as short circuit protection so these are the protection and you can uh, have a close look into the circuitry so this is the circuitry and it's uh, very nicely built so we can uh, wire it up to the camera so we have to open up the camera and see what is there inside so before uh, we have to remove the uh, screws under this uh, uh, pads the rubber pads these are for protection of the screws from the water uh, from weather making it weatherproof and IV67 uh, water resistant I think there are four screws under here okay so now the screws are removed so I think uh, only these four screws hold it together and the remaining I'm not sure whether is required to remove and uh, also make sure that you don't damage these uh, rubber uh, pads because you want to keep it so it comes out like this as i said before the entire section of the camera is empty here so we can try to fit in some uh, batteries like this somehow we can fit these uh, batteries here and we can also fit this circuitry we can even fit more batteries you can fit maybe four i think around four or let's check whether we can fit more batteries so yeah you can fit around four batteries here so that will be around around 10,000 or 11,000 milliamp hour batteries if you fit four i think everything is well insulated from water and there is a o-ring here so we have to be careful not to damage all this because we, we want to put it back and so there is an o-ring here don't lose that there is a silicon seal on the uh, wi-fi antenna cable so don't damage that and you have the uh, seal on the input power supply so also make sure not to damage those things so after taking out some of the circuitry i think we can see how it works so we need to disconnect some of the connectors so let's try to remove further we have two connections on the upper board and the remaining two connections on the lower board so i think these red and black wires are the power supply and the green and the white green wires are for the reset button here we can check that using a continuity tester so i'll be using this continuity tester so we have to check whether what is the power supply cable i am guessing the red and the black wires are the power supply cables yes so the the red and black wires are the power supply so i think we have we may have to uh, cut some of the cables so let's do that and i will show you so i have figured out what to do it has two layers of boards the upper circuit board is a power supply and the lower board is the actual camera circuitry so the upper board takes only 12 volt power supply so these are the connections for the 12 volt supply and the lower board takes uh, the 12 volt supply as well as uh, the reset switch wires so what i'll be doing is i'll be cutting these wires uh, for the lower board and then connect it join it with the upper board wires because they are actually in parallel and after that i'll take the one of the cut ones and use it as a power supply to this ups board and then the output will be connected to both the inputs so that's what i'll be doing right now so i completed wiring up most of the parts this will go to the battery the battery negative and battery positive here the output positive and output negative here and the input is uh, plus and minus here so the input positive and negative from come from here so i'll join that and then the output will go like this it'll be joined here including these so all together will be joined and then we have to use some shrink tube to insulate these uh, connections and that's it i have already tied up the remaining unused power supply input uh, in this cable and i'll attach the circuit here and we can put it inside like this so that's how i'm going to fix it so i'll show you after doing that so i have completed the battery connections 
and I'll be taping it up with the electrical tape just for better insulation. So we have already taped up and completed the battery connections here and uh, this means that we are already having power output here so we can check that. So as you can see it's 12.44 volts. Now I have completed all the connections. So these are the outputs. So these are connected in parallel and this will go to the lower circuit board and this will go to the power supply circuit board that is the top board. The input comes here from the power source. There's a 12 volt power source here. Now we can test the charging current. Later we can test the load current before putting it together. Let's test it. So currently it should have 12 volt power supply and we can test it. So let's check the output supply. This is the meter here you can see. And let's check the output. This is the output which is 12.45 volts. The input is not connected right now. So, so the input is absent. Let's check the battery voltage. The battery is 3.91 volts and uh, we can connect the power supply to the input and check the input supply here so the input is around 12 exactly 12 volts so let's check the output voltage now so the output is around 11.97 that is around 12 volts and let's check the battery voltage so the battery voltage is increasing that means that it is charging so we can test the charging current using the clamp meter. So let's put it in the current mode. You can see here. So let's disconnect the power supply and then we can zero it out first. So first zero it out and do not move the clamp meter. So the charging current at 12 volts is around 267 milliamperes. So now let's connect the power supplies to the boards here. Now I have attached the battery to the back panel here, the back of the camera. So these are the two inputs that are to be connected to the camera and it's going to be connected like this. So first let's connect the inner panel. So once the panel is connected, it's powered on and you can see the indicator here and you can also see the indicators here. And the upper board I found out is for the night vision LEDs. Now let's put the board back together. So now the camera is started. We have to be very careful because the we, it is already powered up and because I for now I have not connected any switch here. Uh, you should be connecting a switch to power on and off the camera. But this is just a test, so I haven't connected it. So now we have connected the cables and the camera is all powered up. We have to check the amount of power draw by the camera so let's check let's zero it out so it's drawing around 100 milliamps at 12 volts so that's a uh, very low power let's check at the night mode when the night mode is on so at night mode it's consuming around 400 milliamps so if we we have to compute how much this battery will last because this battery is 5400 milliamp hour at 3.7 volts and the camera is 12 volts we can also now connect the power supply and charge it up so now it's charging the battery let's check the amount of power draw so from the input it's drawing around 300 milliamps from the input the camera is drawing around 100 so the remaining is being used for charging so now we can close it up all together and then now we are all set make sure you line up properly make the o-ring seal in proper position since these doesn't have the metal thread inside it's just plastic so we have to be very careful while closing it up so just rotate anti-clockwise and when you hear a click then you can try tightening it up reverse and then click and then you can tighten up so this is to avoid creating any more threads inside and then you can cover it up using the rubber pads to avoid water entry inside the screw holes and that's it uh, so the camera is basically working and we can disconnect the power and it's still working and connect the power and it still works so now this is basically independent you can put it up anywhere thank you for watching uh, please consider subscribing i'll see you next time